I am here to tell you that life is way too short to suffer. Pain, that happens. But suffering is optional. It's hard to accept that, but it is really, really true. I'm going to show you how that works. How many people in your life are going to do exactly what you want them to do? How many times are you going to do exactly what you committed to yourself that you were going to do? How many times are things in your life going to work out exactly like you wanted? It's not going to happen. And guess what? That story is the same for everybody. So if there are people who are happy out there and people who are not, it's not the circumstances. It's not because of what is happening or not happening to you. I'm Teresa Harding, and yes, I'm in my car, and yes, I'm very cold, and I help people master their life, master their business. Wherever you are, and if you have a difference between where you are and where you want to be, I've spent my life helping people do this the last 17 years, and it has been very, very fulfilling, and so I'm excited to be here to help you do the same thing. You will never stay happy. I said stay happy. You can be happy, but it will not last if you have it set on expectations. Expectations of yourself, expectations of someone else, expectation of what the circumstances in your life should be. There are people all over the world who, are, have, who have lesser circumstances than the next guy. And guess what? They're happy. You find people who have almost nothing and they are happy. So it's time to start taking responsibility for that. Start learning how to change your expectations so that your expectations are that I'm going to be happy no matter what happens. That doesn't mean you're not going to feel it. It doesn't mean you're not going to experience the hard things. It means you're going to make a choice every single time. Leave me a comment on what's holding you back. Think about the one thing that you really want in your life, the thing that you desire that maybe you're almost even afraid to desire that you've kind of given up on and What's stopping you? What's stopping you from having that? And if you had that, what would it look like? Leave me comments because I want to know what you want to hear.